Hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's time for another episode of Tuesday Live at 5. This is Lena Gursa. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. And today I am super excited to share with you some projects that are going to get you to stop hoarding all of that pretty paper in your craft cupboard and actually use it to make some awesome fun folds. So we are going to make this looks like a lot, but it's really only three projects. These three are actually all made with the same basic fold. So I'm going to show you that one. Um, and then a couple of fun masculine projects because we need to start thinking about Father's Day. It's going to be here before we know it. Now, before I get started, I have to show you what came in the mail today. Ah, I'm so excited about this. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting and very impatiently checking my mail every day for my copy of the brand new 2020-21 annual catalog to arrive. So this just, as I said, just came today and I have only been able to go through it once, but let me tell you, it is so fantastic. Now I've been able to look at it online and I've actually already got some of the new products as part of a um, of the pre-order, which is one of the awesome perks of being a demonstrator, I might add. Um, but uh, to actually see the hard copy and be able to page through it is just awesome. Now I have already sent out copies of these catalogs to all of my customers who have placed an order with me in the last 12 months. Now, now, if you have not placed an order with me in the last 12 months and don't currently have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to send you a free copy. So you just need to send me a quick um, personal message and I will get one out to you really quick. Okay? Or as quick as the mail these days will allow. Let's put it that way. Okay, let's see who has joined us. We've got Sue and Kathy and Heather and Jamie and Deb. I did get my catalog, Deb. Oh, I love, yes, I love the cookie stamp. There are so many things to love in this catalog. I cannot wait until it goes live. It does go live June 3rd if you um, are not aware of that. So um, for sure, if you don't if you don't have a demonstrator and you would like a copy of this catalog, let me know. All right, let's get to some stamping. As I said, we're going to make um, some fun folds. And all of the um, DSP that I'm using today is retiring at the end of the current catalog period, which is June 2nd. So some is from the annual, some is from the mini, but all of it is going away and it is all gorgeous. So let's get to it. We are going to start with these three projects here, and I know it looks like a lot, but these are actually all the same basic fold, which is super, super easy. So the, the basic fold actually works like this, okay? It is um, a DSP um, card. The card itself is made of DSP, and then we have a cardstock backing that we mount it on. So the basic fold looks like this, and when you unfold it, it kind of stands. Let me just move this down a little bit so you can see. Um, it kind of makes a W. Okay, and it, it's very pretty. I've actually posted some photos of it um, standing up so you can see what it looks like when it's standing. But super, super simple, but showcases both sides of the gorgeous Perennial Essence DSP. This is my very favorite DSP in the annual catalog. And I have a lot of it. So I decided that I needed to, to, to actually use it. I've been hoarding it because it's so pretty. I didn't want to cut it up. So um, this is the basic fold. And then we can, by adhering the front two panels, so these two panels here, we can actually get um, a Z fold look. Okay, it looks like that. Okay, a little bit sturdier and we can decorate a little bit more. And then same thing, same fold, but all we are doing is taking and turning it horizontally and adhering the edges. And what we end up with is a double pocket card. So we have um, a spot for a, a note. We can slide into the pocket there. And then back here, we have room for a gift card. Now, let me just steal a gift card out of one of my other projects here. I did have a Tim Hortons gift card kicking around here. There it is. So it's easy to tuck a gift card right in there in behind, okay? And then on the back, you can add a panel for you to write your message, or you can just write your message here, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do this fold. It is so, so, so easy, um, but super versatile and uses that gorgeous DSP. So um, what you were going to need to start with, I'm using a different pattern than I had used in my samples, and that's okay, because every pattern in this pack is pretty. Um, I'm using my trimmer and I have cut my piece to five and a quarter by 11 and three quarters. Okay, five and a quarter by 11 and three quarters. Yes, I am on my new phone. Can you guys see the difference? 
I hope it looks better. I did get my new iPhone 11 Pro for Mother's Day. Um, my boy spoiled me, and uh, I gotta tell you, I am loving it. I didn't realize what I was missing, let me tell you. So hopefully our um, quality issues will go away and our autofocus issues will go away, and um, hopefully we're gonna be good to go. So I'm excited for today. All right, so as I mentioned, 11 and three quarters by five and a quarter. So just a little bit less than a full, than half of a, of a sheet of 12 by 12, okay? Now, you want to think about if you have paper that is directionally specific, like this one is, um, you want your image, if you're going to do a vertical card like this, you want your image to be going up and down like on the on the long side okay if you're going to do a horizontal card then you're going to want to turn it and have your image go that way okay so just something to think about if you are using um dsp that is directionally specific okay so i have my piece i am going to insert it into my trimmer and i have, i've got my scoring blade here and i'm going to score at one and three quarters and then at four and three quarters and at seven and three quarters. Okay, that is it. So easy. Get this out of the way. And then we're gonna do some folding. So this first panel, this little narrow panel that was the one and three quarters fold, I'm going to fold, um, what am I doing? I'm folding it inwards. I had to think about that for a sec. And for all of the folds today, you are definitely gonna wanna have a bone folder um, just to get everything nice and crisp. Okay, then I'm going to take this next fold and I'm going to fold it under this way. Okay, and then this last fold, I'm folding it inwards again. Okay, so that's what I end up with. And look, it almost looks like those flowers match up. <laughs> I didn't plan that, but it's a happy little accident. Okay, and that's the foundation of my card. So then all I'm going to do is go ahead and glue this DSP panel onto a um, quarter sheet of cardstock. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half. It's old olive cardstock that I'm using for this one. And I'm gonna glue that centered on there, okay? So we'll just grab a little bit of Fast Fuse. Cannot wait for the catalog to go live and me to get my new adhesive. So we're gonna pop this on here, just like that, okay? Oh, I'm so glad I'm clear as a bell. Debbie, that makes me so happy. So happy. I am like, I can't even tell you <laughs> how thrilled I am that, that uh, the autofocus issues are gone. Because let me tell you, it's pretty darn discouraged after last week. I think that's why my husband bought me my phone, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, so we are going to, I'm going to show you another sample that I made. We're, we're doing sort of the middle of the road one. Okay, let me find it here. We're going to do a, a variation on this one. Okay, so we're going to add our ribbon first and then we're going to glue this front panel down. So I have here some of the petal pink metallic edge ribbon. I'm going to add a glue dot, except my glue dots are freezing because it is freezing in my studio. Yes, it's still freezing in my studio on May 12th. <laughs> Sooner or later, spring and summer will come, I hope. I kind of feel like we're living in Narnia right now where the queen... The, the, the evil queen is keeping it winter. Um, and then I'm going to trim off a little bit of excess here. Hi, Gail. How are you? And then we're going to add a glue dot. And we're going to wrap this one around this end. So I'm putting this right along the edge. Wow, my fingers are not even working well. It is chilly in here. Okay. So now I've got my ribbon on and that is not going to make me happy. I don't want to see that. And add another glue dot and press that into it so it doesn't show. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and glue this panel down to the front. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive here. Woo! I'm getting carried away with my fast fuse again. Slow and steady wins the race with fast fuse. Okay, so now I've glued that front panel down and now I have my Z fold. Okay, and I still have a little end of my ribbon here that I'm not happy with. So we're gonna just trim that off. I'll do that after. Okay, next I'm going to just add a little glue dot right in the middle of my ribbon, just so it's not flopping around, just so that it lays nice and flat like that. Okay, so that is um, the foundation of my card. Now we are going to do a little bit of stamping. And for this one, I am using the, uh, what is it? Floral Essence stamp set. 
I do have them here. This one, Floral Essence. <laughs> this is in a bundle right now, okay? It is bundled with the um, punch. However, the bundle pricing goes away on June 2nd. So if you haven't picked up this bundle yet um, and you like it, you may want to do it before the catalog ends because in the new catalog, it is not bundled, okay? So right now you can get the two together at a discount, but come June 3rd, that will go away. All right, so here I have a little sneaky peeky from the new catalog. This is one of the new Tasteful Labels dies, and there are a ton of die shapes in this set. Some of them have the stitch detail, some of them have an embossed edge, and they're they're gonna be my new go-tos. Every catalog, there's a new go-to sort of layering label kind of set. This is my one for this catalog. So I'm gonna take some Blackberry Bliss ink, and I'm going to stamp my sentiment just centered on that label like that, okay? Oh, Debbie, we had snow on the weekend too. Don't even get me started about the weekend. We had snow yesterday. We woke up to a goodly, good bit of snow. Hi, Mary Jane, how are you? Hi, Julie. Um, all right, now I'm gonna take some Mossy Meadow ink and the leaf stamp from this same stamp set, ink it up, and I'm going to add, whoopsie, just a few little leaves here, kind of creeping on from the edge. So we'll just do a couple here, like that. Okay, oh, I got a little halo, that's okay, we'll hide it. We can fix anything. All right, I'm gonna bring back my Blackberry Bliss, and this time I have some scraps of DSP. So a lot of us forget that DSP is also something, it's paper, right, and we can stamp on it. So if you look at my sample here, this flower was actually stamped and punched from a scrap of this DSP, okay? So I have a scrap of a similar one. This isn't the exact same one, but it's the same colors. Um, and I have a scrap of another green, okay? So we are gonna use those to create our flower. So I'm gonna take my Blackberry Bliss and my flower stamp, and I'm gonna stamp once, twice, and three times, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and punch those out using the, what is it, floral, floral, perennial, perennial, punch, perennial floral punch, I think it's called, I can never remember. Um, it is the one that is bundled with the stamp set. So we're gonna go ahead and pop these out. And then we are gonna build our flower. So to do that, I'm just gonna take a little bit of Tombow. Hi Betsy, how are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna take a bit of Tombow and I'm gonna put a little dab of it in the center. And then I'm gonna layer one of my flowers on top, but I'm not going to, I'm not gonna offset it perfectly. I'm just gonna offset it a little bit, okay? And then I'm gonna add a little bit more glue and take my second, or my third flower rather, and layer that on top as well, okay? That's all there is to it. Now to make the leaves, we are going to punch one more flower out of the green cardstock, or not cardstock, DSP. And we're gonna just trim off the petals and those are gonna become our leaves. So we're gonna trim one off. I'm gonna add some dimension to my leaf by folding it in half, okay? I'm gonna do the same with the second one. So we'll do that like that. Okay, now before I add my leaves, I wanna just create some dimension with my flower. So I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm just gonna gently curl my petals. Okay, again, this is very gentle. I'm not getting too overzealous here because I don't wanna tear them. Okay, but you see, can you see the nice dimension that it has when I turn it over? Okay, and then I can go ahead and add my leaves. So I'm gonna take a glue dot and just press one onto the back of my flower. And same thing with the second one. There we go, okay. And then that is going, now I'm gonna put this on this side, just so I hide my little halo there. I'm gonna turn it, I think, like that, okay? Just so that I can hide my little oops. So we're gonna add a dimensional to the center on the back side of our flower. And then we're gonna pop this on just like this. 
and hide our little oopsie there. Okay. And then this is ready to go onto the front of our card. And again, I'm going to use some more dimensionals to pop our label up. Get my Tombow out of the way. And we'll get rid of our backings. And then that is going to get glued centered over the ribbon. Just like that. Okay. And then the last little touch or the next little touch is um, a pretty gold faceted gem. Now these are retiring and sadly they are sold out. Um, I'm actually quite sad to see these go because I really love them for floral centers. Okay. And then last touch where to put my ribbon. There it is. We're going to do our bow. So here's your bow tying lesson. So I'm going to take my ribbon between my thumb and, sorry, my thumb and index finger, pinching it to make two loops, okay, keeping my ribbon flat. I'm not allowing it to twist. I'm taking my left hand, left loop, crossing it over the right, bringing it around and through, and pulling, okay? And then we just adjust our loops, pull it nice and tight, and there we have a pretty, pretty bow. Now this gorgeous ribbon is also retiring. I am very sad because I love this ribbon. Love, love, love this ribbon. Okay, glue dots on the knot of the bow. And then that is going to go right at the top of our label. That's actually not quite as even as I would have liked it, but hey, close enough. All right, last step is to add a pretty, now again, this is a, where old meets new, right? So we're using um, a stamp set and DSP from the current annual. This is from the new annual. Um, this is the Ornate Layers, okay? I featured this a couple of weeks ago. So it makes a, a lovely layer, not only to write in, right? But it also adds a lovely little accent to your card because it's gonna be visible. So what we're going to do is just add a little bit of adhesive, get the ribbon out of the way there. A Little bit of adhesive to the back of this. And we're gonna center that on that back panel just like that okay so pretty so simple such gorgeous paper okay so you guys can absolutely do this and cut up your pretty paper okay now here is another version that I did with yet another pattern okay just another another pattern of the DSP there are so many possibilities with this now if you decide that you want to um, create the the horizontal gift card holder what you would do let me go back to this one you would turn your piece this way and you would adhere along this edge and this edge so you would adhere this to this okay along the edges and then you will adhere this sorry this to this so you're adhering these edges along the edge and you're adhering these edges along the edge okay and then you're also going to want to put a little bit of adhesive here so that it all lies flat okay and that is what will give you your pockets okay and then you can put your little your little um pocket it, or note card in there and your gift card in there like that okay Super awesome fold. I love this. It is not my design. I have to give credit to my friend Patty Bennett, who is awesome, awesome, awesome. And uh, it is her idea, but I love it. And I love that I can use up my DSP. All right, we're going to get this out of the way and move on to number two. Let's clean up my mess here a little bit. Okay, number two is this one. Now this is another gift card holder. I'm all about the gift card holders today because, well, to be honest, we're not seeing the people we love to celebrate major events and occasions, right? So what better way to sh show the love than to, sh to send a, a gift card, right? So this one is a fun, you've probably seen this fold before. I've done this before in videos, but I've added this time a little pocket, a little hidden pocket in the back where we can stash a gift card for dad. Okay. And yes, Father's Day is coming. So the next two projects are masculine ones. Okay. So this one has almost no stamping. This, the only thing I'm stamping are the two, um, the happy and the day. Okay. Um, Mary Jane, I froze. I think that might be on your end because it's still looking good on my end. Okay. I'm, I think it may be on your end if you're frozen. Okay. Let me get these out of the way. I need them later, so I don't want to put them too far away. And then we're going to bring in all of our goodies here to make this one. 
So I'm going to start with a piece of DSP that is four by ten and a half. Yes, four by ten and a half. Okay, so this is about a third of a sheet. And I'm going to bring back my trimmer. And I'm going to put it in with the long side at the top. And I am going to score at two and one eighth. So two and one eighth and five and one quarter. No, oh, let me back it off so you can see. Okay, I'll do that again. So two and one eighth. Okay, so two and one eighth and five and one quarter. Okay, you with me so far? All right, let's get that out of the way. And then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna fold along that five, five and a quarter inch score line. So we're essentially folding it in half. Okay, and we're gonna crisp it up with our bone folder. Get my dimensional backings out of the way here. And then we have the two and one eighth inch score line. We're gonna fold that back. Oh, I screwed up. Not two and an eighth. <laughs> Wrong dimension. Not two and an eighth. Two and five eighths. Two and half of, yes, two and five eighths. I screwed up. Two and five eighths and five and a quarter. Not two and one eighth. I will correct that. I'll make sure it's right in the dimensions when I put them up after, after the video. Okay, so I'm going to fold this back. Essentially, you want to score it in the middle again, right? Because you want it to be um, half, right? So it's going to stand like that. Okay? Not to worry. We can deal with that. Okay. Then we are going to go ahead and glue this onto a card base. Okay. Our card base is four and a quarter by 11 scored in the middle at five and a half. Just a standard card base, half a sheet of cardstock. So we'll fold that in half along our score line. And then we're going to go ahead and, oh, I got to slow down with the fast, oh, fast fuse. You are failing me today. Let's go back to the Tombow because fast fuse does not want to cooperate. All right. So we're going to glue this on to our card base with the folded part towards the bottom of the card. Okay, I know it's upside down right now. When I flip it around, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so it's gonna stand up like that. Okay, all right. Next, I'm going to pull out of my little kit of goodies, um, a die cut stitched rectangle. Now this is the, it's, it's a, about four inches long. I can't remember if it's, I think it's the third or fourth largest one. Okay. And I'm going to bring in my mini trimmer and I'm going to chop it. So I'm going to cut it off so that it ends up being one and three quarters inches wide. Okay. So I just chopped that much off. All right. That is going to be our pocket. So when we add our pocket to our project, we want to be a little bit careful because there is not a whole lot of wiggle room for your gift card. Okay, so if I layer this over here, you're going to see there's not a whole lot of space on either side so that when you glue this, you want to make sure you're leaving space for your gift card to be able to fit in there. If you put your adhesive too far in, you won't be able to get your gift card in. Okay, so here is what I did. I took a little bit of tear and tape if I can find the end. And I started with the strip all the way across the bottom. Okay, so I can go right along flush with the bottom edge. That is fine. Okay, so I'll take my backing off there. Okay, then I'm going to take some and I'm going to only layer it on half, half the width of the tape. So I'm putting it onto my piece and I'll show you once I tear this off what I mean. Okay, so it's only halfway on. Can you see how it's sticking out when I turn it over? Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my tape off or my backing off, and then I'm going to fold it back on itself. Okay, and that gives me just, a, it's half the width of the tape. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So half on, half off. Okay, and then again, we'll take the backing off. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And again, we're gonna fold that in, okay? And that will ensure that I still have space. I can lay the gift card on there and you can see that I still have space to be able to slide it in, okay? So that now is going to get glued to this inside piece. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that and it's gonna be almost at the fold, but not quite. You're gonna see it's just going to fit. Okay, and then my gift card will slide in there like that. Okay, 
We good? I hope so. All right. Next up, we have... This is the easiest <laughs> card ever, okay? I am not a golfer. I don't know anyone. Any? I don't have any loved ones that are golfers. But I know that many of you are golfers and many of you love golfing. And so this golf set is not one that I purchased. However, I did buy the DSP because I love the patterns in it. Absolutely love them. And um, I one of the patterns on the DSP are these sort of pencil, pencil sketch images. So they are sized so that you can cut them out to about three by four. So I actually use the exact same die that I used to cut this piece to cut out my golfer here. Now you could color this if you wanted to, but I was going for quick and easy and this looks gorgeous just as it is. So I didn't bother coloring it. So all we're gonna do is add some dimensionals to the back And we're gonna pop this on as soon as we get rid of our backings. We'll pop this onto the front of our card, just like that. And attempt to get it straight while not looking straight on. <laughs> there we go, okay? So cute, right? So cute. Okay, now we're gonna do our greeting. So the greeting, get rid of all my bits here. Um, again, I've used that same stitched label, the um, tasteful label that I used from um, on, on the previous card. We used it vertically. This time we're going to use it horizontally. And then this is another label from the same set, okay? And I'm not sure how well it shows, but we have an embossed edge on this particular label, okay? So that is going to get layered on there. Before we do that, we are going to add our die cut fathers. Now, these dies are in, again, the annual. They are back in the new catalog. However, again, the bundle pricing is going away. So if you have not yet picked up this Wish for Everything bundle, um, it's one you may want to think about because it has word dies for pretty much every occasion, as well as a double stamp set. Okay, this is an awesome bundle. Um, it is super versatile. Like it'll give you a sentiment for pretty much everything you could possibly need. So I have gone ahead and die cut fathers out of navy cardstock and I've added some multi-purpose adhesive sheets on the back. Now these were um, in, in the catalog a couple years ago and they retired. However, we're getting new ones because the new die cutting machine is coming. So um, I feel like I can use them again in my videos because you are soon going to be able to get them. I am so excited. Now I've been hoarding these for <laughs> ever since they retired. So I'm going to just peel the backing off there. And we're gonna pop that onto our DSP label here like that, okay? And then in the die, I still have the little apostrophe. This is why I kept the thing in the die because I didn't wanna lose my little die cut apostrophe. It's so teeny tiny. Um, I knew that if I actually popped it out, I would for sure lose it. So there we go, we've got fathers. And now we're gonna go ahead and, add, and pop that onto the label with some dimensionals. We'll just put three across there. I know you're a golfer, Heather. <laughs> yeah, Julie, the fast fuse is, is, is giving me problems because it knows it's being replaced. I got to say, I will miss fast fuse. I love it, but I am so excited about the new one. I think it's going to be awesome. All right. Now, we need to do a little bit of stamping. Where did I put my little white strip? There it is. And I have Happy End Day from the Wish for Everything set. And we're going to stamp just on a little bit of scrap in Garden Green Ink. Okay, so I'm going to stamp Happy. And I'm going to stamp Day. And then I'm just going to take my snips and cut them out. Talk about easy. Like, nothing fancy. We're just going to take and cut those out. Nice and tidy, straight cuts, easy to do, nothing, nothing, no f fussy cutting today. Okay, just straight cuts. So again, we'll go one and two. And there we go. Okay, so we'll get rid of all these little off cuts. Make sure we don't lose these guys. And these are actually still big enough to fit a mini dimensional on. Thank goodness for mini dimensionals. So I'm actually gonna use two on happy. So we're gonna put two side by side on there and we'll get rid of our backings. And we're just gonna pop it on right up here next to fathers. So happy's going up there and day, it's so teeny, we're just gonna use one. It 
it's gonna go down here like that okay and then that is going to go on to the front of our card with some dimensionals again but before we do that we're gonna add some ribbon so this is some more ribbon that is retiring sadly and this literally is the last five and a half inches I have left in this ribbon I had just enough to make my sample and this one and that's it it is gone um so I'm gonna take and we're gonna actually wrap this around from the back okay and bring it on this way so that when I put my label on it's gonna cover the ends and we don't have raw ends on the back where, where we'll see them okay so we're gonna add a glue dot on either end this is gonna be tight like I said I don't have a lot of <laughs> this is it this is the last of my ribbon so I need to make it fit so we're gonna make sure we're in the middle ish and we're gonna wrap this one around and secure it and wrap this end around and secure it there we go okay and then we can add our label with a couple of dimensionals again oops stuck to my finger now there we go we'll get rid of these nothing is straight when you use scissors oh Heather it's just a matter of eyeballing it and practicing all right, so we're gonna center that on this front panel here, okay? And then I have some of these fun designer elements. Now this is yet another item that is retiring. And I actually just started really appreciating these. I hadn't used them very much up until now and now I'm kind of sad that they're going away. <laughs> so I'm gonna take and add one on either side of my sentiment here. Kind of like, they almost look like um, the rivets that are in jeans. Okay, and there we go. That's it. We're done. Now, my, my card's a little floppy because of my oopsie score there, but you get the idea. Okay, that's what it looks like when it stands up. I'll move it a little closer so you can see. Okay, now on the inside of my sample, I just added another Whisper White panel and another one of the sentiments from the Wish for Everything set. Okay, super easy, but again, uses up that pretty paper. Hey, no paper hoarding. I got to tell you guys, there is so much pretty paper in the new catalog. If you don't start using the stuff you have, you're going to feel guilty about buying the new stuff. Okay, so start using it. That's why I'm doing this this week. All right, let's, I, I'm, it's a public service that I'm doing. I'm helping you guys out. I'm helping you use your stuff so that you can get more new pretty stuff. Okay, um, our last project is, I think, my favorite. It is super fun. This is one that I had actually designed for an event that ended up being canceled because of COVID. And uh, it's just, it's just super fun. So this, let me just close this up so you can see what I'm doing here. Now you've probably seen some of these floating around on the internet and I've seen several too. However, mine is a little bit different because instead of just being a card, it is a cute little card. It actually functions as a gift card holder as well. Now let me get find my gift card again. I only had one gift card, so I had to, where'd it go? There it is, it's hiding. Nope, it's in my golf cart, there it is. Let me pull it out. So the gift card, we're gonna make this one. This is just another variation on it. Uh, we're gonna make this one. The gift card actually slides in here. This little card actually comes out it slides out oh <laughs> this didn't stick very well but you get the idea um and you can write a little message here or even in behind the gift card before you put it in this little pocket holds it in place okay so it slides in like this okay and then this folds up and the collar if you tuck it between the folds of the collar the collar acts as a closure and holds it in place if I, if it wants to work for me. One, and come on. Work with me, people, work with me. There we go, just like that, okay? So I had some fun playing with some of the Tropical Oasis DSP, that awesome Hawaiian DSP, which is also retiring. Um, I'm saving a couple packs to do my uh, photos, my scrapbook for my photos from Maui, which has been postponed now till next May. But um, so I'm saving some of this paper, but I wanted to show you this really, really cute way to make a gift card holder. Okay, so let's pull out the last kit. Now I'm going to show you this actually uses no adhesive. Okay, I'm going to actually unfold it completely so you can see that it is just paper. It's kind of like origami. 
it's just paper. There is no adhesive at all in the, in the base, okay? So it's just a matter of some fancy folding and a little bit of cutting and you get this cute little shirt, okay? So let's show you how to do that. So I'm gonna start with a piece of DSP that is six inches wide by 10 inches long. So six by 10, okay, six by 10. So first thing I wanna do, and I do have instructions written down so I don't forget, where did I put them? I don't know where I put them. Okay, we're gonna wing it. I don't know what I did with my instructions. Okay, <laughs> here we go, let's see if we remember. So we're gonna start by folding it in half lengthwise. Okay, so I'm gonna fold it in half lengthwise. And every time you do a fold with this, you wanna make sure you burnish really well, okay? This is, our DSP is quite heavyweight. So it is, you have to burnish, okay? All right, so there is, and then I open it up, okay? So I've got that center fold as my guide. Then I'm gonna take this left edge and I'm gonna bring it into that center fold. So I'm gonna fold it inwards. So take your time and line it up. The thing with this is you want to be precise or it's not going to look great when you're done. Okay, so bring that in. And again, crisp that fold up. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So bring this edge in. And line it up nice and tidy. And again, burnish it really well. Okay, so far so good. All right, next I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna move my grid paper up so you can see I'm going to put my um, piece. So think about if you have directionally specific DSP, um, you can decide, I'll just show you two samples. This one, I ended up with my fruit upside down on the front of the shirt, but my pineapples are right side up on the inside. Okay, otherwise you can do it the other way. Okay, now I am actually gonna do it with my fruit upside down so that when I, when I have my finished shirt, it's right side up. Okay, I'm not gonna worry too much about my pineapples on the inside. All right, just a little tip. So I'm gonna start with my fruit upside down. Okay, so from this top edge, I'm going to line that top edge up with zero on my grid paper. And then I'm gonna take my ruler, I'm gonna lay it at two inches and I'm just gonna bring and fold that over just to create a crease, okay? Then I'm gonna get rid of my ruler and I'm gonna go ahead and fold that, okay? And again, I wanna make sure it's two inches, so I'm just gonna lay this on so that I can see that I'm lining it right up and again, burnishing really well, okay? So again, I've got those the folded part, the, the seam to the inside, okay? Then I'm gonna take this bottom edge and fold it back up so it's flush with the fold at the top. So I'm gonna do that. So now I have my fold at the top, okay? And now I'm gonna open it up and along this fold here, I'm going to measure three quarters of an inch and put a little tick mark. So I'm gonna put three quarters of an inch from the right edge. Where's my pencil? Just gonna put a little tick, this is just so that I know how far to cut in, and then three quarters of an inch from the left edge. Okay? All right, now I'm gonna take my snips and I'm gonna cut along that fold into my little tick mark. So there and there, okay? So that top fold goes to the back, okay? I cut, made my little slits, okay? And then I'm going to bring this corner into this center seam. So I'm gonna fold it in. So you, you do have to bend. This is not easy to do, okay? Cause you've got four layers of, of DSP there. So I'm bringing this top corner in to meet in the middle, okay? And you're gonna press it down. And then I'm doing the same thing on the other side. Oopsie, that did not go well. There we go, just like that. Okay, and this is where you really, really need to burnish, okay? The DS, our DSP, as I said, is quite heavy, and uh, you, you really need to burnish it to get it to lie flat, okay? So that is the collar for your card, okay? Now, the rest of the, 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 rest of the length here, we're gonna take and we're gonna fold it in half. So we're gonna take this bottom edge and line it up underneath the collar with that top edge. So I'm gonna tuck it in underneath, just like that, and I'm gonna 
fold. And again, I want to make sure I burnish really well. Okay, can you see our shirt starting to form? Yeah? Okay, now I'm going to open it back up. And from that fold that I just made, I'm going to measure down three quarters of an inch. So three quarters of an inch is kind of the, the measurement that you need to remember here. So I'm going to start at my fold and measure down three quarters of an inch. So right there. So I'm going to kind of make that a little bit more visible there. Okay. Then I'm going to take my, the edge of my ruler. I'm going to line up at my tick mark and go down to the opposite corner. So from here down to that corner. And then I'm going to take and bend my DSP back over my ruler. This is just to help me get a nice straight fold. Okay. I can take my ruler away then and then crisp up that fold with my bone folder. Okay. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, I'm going to line my ruler up with my tick and the corner. I'm going to bring this back and then crisp up my fold. Okay. And when I close this up, lo and behold, I have sleeves. Isn't that cute? So, so fun. All right. Now to make the inside of the card is super easy. Get my ruler out of the way because I don't need that anymore. So I have two pieces of Whisper White cardstock. They are two and seven eighths inches wide by three and seven eighths long. So two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. Okay. And you need two of them. Why? Because one is going to go in here for our gift card. And the other one, we're going to layer here to put a little message. Okay. So let's make our gift card pocket first. So I have just a little scrap. So when you cut your DSP piece, you have a two inch piece, right? That you cut off the bottom because it was 12. Remember we had a, it was six by 10. So that two inch piece, you're going to cut a little bit of scrap from that. And we're going to create our pocket. So same idea that we did on the last card. We are going to use only half the width of the tape on the, on the paper. Cause again, we need to not make our pocket too narrow. So our gift card won't fit. Okay. So, and then I'm going to go across the bottom and tear, get rid of my backing. Come on. This is much easier to do when it, you're not holding it. It's just, if I put it down, it's going to stick. I should have brought my silicone mat over. Okay. I stick that down. And then the last one is the other side. Again, only half the width. Get rid of our backing. If it will cooperate. Let me use my take your pick. Sometimes that is easier. There we go. Okay, so again, we only have half the width, and if I can find my gift card, where'd it go? Where's my sample? There it is. So I want to double check to make sure that it's going to fit, okay? And you can see that I still have room to get my gift card in there, all right? So then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to line it up with the left edge of one of my pieces of white cardstock, okay? And that creates my little pocket. So that is going to slide in that front pocket on my card. Okay. Easy, right? All right. Last step is to decorate and stamp a little bit on the inside panel. So what I did here is I stamped rest and relax. You deserve it in Mossy Meadow ink, which is in my other kit. There it is. So we're going to ink that up. This, this thing needs a good re-inking this stamp, or sorry, this ink pad. So we're going to stamp rest and relax. You deserve it. And then we're going to stamp our pineapple that we're going to ink up with our stamp and write markers. So I'm going to use old olive on the top of the pineapple. Just the brush tip. And I'm going to use soft suede on the bottom. There we go. Okay, and then I'll just add one little pineapple down there in the corner. And then that, see if Fast Fuse wants to cooperate. Oh, there we go. He cooperates when I'm not rushing. There we go. Nice and slow and steady, right? Where's my, there it is. We're going to add our panel on the inside. It's going to sit in there quite nicely. Okay, and finish it off. And then to decorate the front, I have... 
some little die cuts. So this is half of a stitch nested label die cut. Okay, I use the other half on my original. So that's what the die looks like originally. Okay, and all I did was cut it in half with my snips and I'm gonna glue that on. So I'm just gonna use a glue dot. Don't need a whole lot of adhesive on this thing. So we're gonna pop that on there and that gives me my little pocket. Okay, and then these buttons I actually cut using the all dressed up or what is it called? Yes, all dressed up. Um, the dyes that coordinate with the lipstick and the perfume that I featured last week. Um, it has these cute little button dyes. Now on my sample, I did add a little bit of linen thread in the holes in the buttons. I'm not gonna take the time to do that because it's a little bit tedious and you guys don't wanna watch me do that. But what I am gonna do is just stick my little buttons onto some glue dots here. And then I'm gonna, whoopsie, wrong side. Come here, you. There we go. Now I'm gonna take my take your pick and we're just gonna button up our shirt. One, and come on, close. Two, whoopsie, come here. Where'd you go? Three, and four. And what I love about this fold is that the crease that we made at the very beginning on this actually looks like the front of the shirt, right? It looks like that's where the, the shirt is closing, is overlapping, okay? And that's it. So cute, so fun, so easy. Okay, let me bring back all of the projects again. There are so many of them. Um, there's a million of these ones because it's just an awesome fold and there are so many possibilities. So we've got these and we've got these guys and we have our cute little Hawaiian shirts. All right, you guys, that is that. So use your DSP. This week is all about using, using, using your DSP. Okay, you guys. All right. Thanks so much for joining me. I will be back on Friday. I don't know yet what I'm going to do Friday. I'll figure it out on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you join me Friday night for another episode of Live Stampin' with Lena. See you later.